Your Hard Rock Canucks CS 2014 coverage is brought to you by NCIX.com. Technology connected. We are here at the NVIDIA booth at CS 2014 and they're showcasing some very impressive things. We have covered a, a little bit of what they're showcasing here at CS based on their press conference, but uh, there's something that we haven't seen there and that's right behind me. So, BJ, what is this beautiful, incredible piece of setup we have here behind us? This is a fantastic setup. It's 365 inch 4K displays in surround mode playing Project Cars, a game that'll be released later this year. It's absolutely fantastic. What's driving it is four GTX Titans in an Origin uh, PC, yeah. liquid cooled, maxed out, and it's delivering the most immersive, real experience that you could ever have uh, in, a, in a car game. How many pixels per second are we seeing here? These 4K, three 65 inch monitors are producing. 1.5 billion pixels every second. That's a lot of pixels, guys. <laughs> That's a lot of pixels. <laughs> And it's running smoothly. Project Cars is going to be released later on in the year, so it's a racing game. And you know, th this is just to show off uh, that 4K is uh, becoming a lot more more consumer oriented. Still, this setup is going to be you know is going to be very performance enthusiast level. Uh, but uh, Nvidia is also, uh, aside from their G-Sync demos, are doing a 4K G-Sync demo. So let's go ahead and check that out. So we've seen G-Sync demos, and um, a lot of people wanted larger monitors right so we saw 24 inch uh, demos and when G-Sync was first announced now everybody's hyped up with 27 inch uh, and finally uh, Asus has just released their ROG monitor their first ROG monitor that is G-Sync ready but what is uh, even more interesting moving to that next level is what's behind this so what's behind this is a 4k display with G-Sync enabled so they're doing a live demo here G-Sync on and sort of G-Sync off and there you can uh, see the difference between what V-Sync does and what type of issues V-Sync and no, no V-Sync uh, produce. A lot of people are asking for larger monitor G-Syncs, which we, we finally have. Um, so the 4K monitor here, this is just a sort of a engineering sample really, right? So there's no G-Sync available for 4K monitors yet. The G-Sync can be applied to a monitor as long as this uh, monitor is able, to, uh, is, is able to be fast response rate. So why haven't we not seen IPS panels adapt G-Sync yet? So right now monitor manufacturers, when they build a monitor for gaming, they want the highest possible refresh rate. And so on TN panels, there are 120 hertz and 144 hertz TN panels. And that's what the monitor manufacturers have chosen to build with, uh, for their gaming monitors. Yeah. Um, typically IPS today, there aren't many uh, uh, panels available that are faster than 60 hertz. So uh, once, once that refresh rate increases, the monitor manufacturers can choose yeah. to, to, to use IPS panels too. So yeah, so it just shows that G-Sync is not the limitation in this uh, monitor technology, it's the IPS technology that's not fast enough to sort of follow up with G-Sync. Uh, and it's, I guess, like I said earlier, it's cool to see 4K being implemented for G-Sync and the fact that it is going to be available sometime in the future because like, like we see here, it is possible, right? So now let's go ahead and check out um, different type of monitor manufacturers that are jumping on this G-Sync wagon and uh, producing a bunch of uh, their monitors. All right guys, so with G-Sync becoming one of the newest and biggest movements in gaming, a lot of panel manufacturers are jumping into this, well, I, I want to equate it to the arms race and the proliferation of this technology. So they want to push it out as quick as humanly possible and we're expecting some in Q2. Now some of the panels that we're taking a look at today uh, starting off with the ASUS panel, it's a 1440p panel, it's the ROG monitor that we saw at their press conference, but it's not just limited to ASUS as the only brand. There are multiple other brands, including Philips, BenQ, AOC, ViewSonic, and there is an Acer panel, but it's not here today, unfortunately, because they were just signed on. But expect these jaw-dropping and completely life-changing technologies and panels to be out as soon as Q2. All right guys, so this concludes our booth tour for NVIDIA at CES 2014. And just a quick little recap, we saw three monitors featuring 4K in surround, 4K G-Sync technology, as well as multiple G-Sync panels that are be coming out in Q2. And guys, if you like our coverage, make sure to subscribe and like the video below. 
And uh, you know what, guys? There's so much more to see here at CS2014, so make sure you keep on checking back at our channel and take a look at our Twitter and Facebook pages as well, guys. We'll see you in the next one.